I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and, and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching, but, but nothing specific and just so quiet. And to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it was so quiet up there for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and off for a momentous uh, event. had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 chance of making a successful landing on the first, first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing. It's a risk-reward uh, equation, and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the roar reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after. It's one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60-second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T-minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We pass the 50-second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11, tower clear, we got a roll program here. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading.
Eleven Houston, thrusters go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. Eleven Houston, uh, your guidance is converged. You're looking good. Set eight miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. Cliff Charlesworth taking a staging status. This is Houston, you are go for staging. Tower, come on. Roger, tower. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. I'm inboard cutoff. Houston, be advised, the visual is go today. This is Houston, Roger out. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look out. 